Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. And Capricorn is your weekly reading for January 13th to the 19th. So your cards this week, Capricorn, we have the beautiful, strong Warrior Woman card. We have the Magician, Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, the Moon, the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So Capricorn, you know, we have this sense of transition from external energy to internal energy this week transforming your reality to bring a greater sense of balance in your life and it really starts with you know releasing the past focusing on the present and you know breaking that illusion really i mean the magician at the moment is everywhere there's a huge energy and potential for great transformation on an internal level at the moment and through transforming our internal reality that's when the external reality shifts along with it right guys because it's the law of attraction so i'm just going to start off by reading out that oracle card warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling you are here for a reason you are being called to bravely pay the path have you answered your highest and deepest calling living a light a heart and soul led life is not all fluffy and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul led life requires courage to triumph over fear. So often our fears are the gatekeepers to our greatest gifts. And the more resistance we have toward answering a call, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Sometimes fear is an indication that we are facing the right way. Interesting Capricorn. Yeah, I mean we can see... That some of you may have been in the state of fear in the past a fear of the present moment a fear of turning around and moving on moving forward facing your true north a fear of the future so sometimes when we have a fear of the future a fear of our own power and a fear of answering answering our deepest calling that aligns with our soul's purpose we stay fixated on the past sometimes it's safer and easier to do that even if it causes us depression, negativity, being a bit of a martyr, being stuck in a victim mentality. Sometimes that's comforting because that's what we know. Sometimes that's familiar. Many people choose to, you know, carry on with the current pattern of, you know, lamenting the past rather than seizing the day and the opportunities that truly await. The Five of Cups shows somebody who is fixated on these spilled cups. You know, but that water, that wine has soaked into the earth and there's no getting it back in those cups. You know, that can be a metaphor for the relationships that haven't worked out, the, you know, the, the career move we didn't make, the degree we didn't go and study that changed our life path. It's all of those things, you know, that decision that we made that turned our life in another direction. There's no point on focusing on what what wasn't or you know what has been Capricorn really because we can't change the past so what we need to do is focus on the present moment and the future because we can change that we are the conscious creator of our own reality so it's time to turn around to drop that shroud of darkness of negativity and see that actually all along there's beautiful opportunities right behind us but we don't see it when we're kind of stuck in that kind of um, past energy together with the moon you know I really think this indicates that Capricorn you know that is actually an illusion being stuck in the past or focusing on you know past things that didn't materialize or, or whatever it may be for you is being stuck in an illusion because it doesn't exist anymore right the past is gone and sometimes we actually just build stories that and then influence our future or present moment it's all, all an illusion and we need to actually just, you know, focus, refocus and face that true north. Um, the, with that five of cups, you know, there, there's always a pathway out. You know, there is actually a bridge here over these emotional waters. But this person, you know, doesn't, either doesn't see it because they're focused on the past or chooses not to make that journey back to the inner sanctuary. And maybe it's because, you know, that path is just dimly lit because you know when we are stuck in the past and that negativity our internal light does you know it does dampen but by releasing that negativity by focusing on the present moment you know we can transform moon energy into sun energy and that path forward can you know illuminate 
so we can walk it. The moon also talks about becoming whole again. You know, we have the two sides of ourselves here, our tame, the tame dog and the wild wolf. And we all have both. We all have a shadow side and a conscious, you know, um, ego side. And sometimes, you know, we can be out of balance with those two. And that, that, that um, being out of balance can be the very thing that keeps us stuck in the past. So it's about embodying, embracing the, all those sides of ourselves and using them to bring ourselves back into balance and focus on the present moment. So we do have indicators of balance in this reading here, Capricorn. Okay, focus energy is here. I mean, look at this. I really feel like this is a big transition from the external reality to the internal reality. Whatever the situation is for you, Capricorn, probably the one that's keeping you in this mode here, I think you've already decided, well, I'm retreating from that. I'm pulling my energy away. I desire a new reality. I'm just not sure what it is at the moment. Some of you might be, you know, stuck in a past situation, hoping that they'll come back with another offer or an apology or something like that. Some of you might be in a situation where that's happening. But I think you do know in your, you know, in your gut that it is time to put a stop to that situation and focus on you now focus on you and what your deepest calling is and go about making the manifestations to make that happen because look at the difference here you know we have somebody here who's not accepting this very plain um almost uninteresting looking cup and then we have this person here the queen of cups who is absolutely fixated on this beautiful gilded cup because this cup is hers and this cup represents her emotional balance her emotional stability and she's in control of it somebody else is in control in control of her emotions so some of you might have been in a situation be it in work or relationships where somebody else was the puppeteer someone else was the controlling force but this is about you making that transition back into power we've got magician warrior woman queen of cups that's what we have what's happening for you this week now the queen of cups is somebody who can sit right on you know the emotional waters of life and stay calm compassionate grounded and mature and queen energy she's unshakable so i really feel this is the energy that you're going to be moving into or evoking this week capricorn and from that place when you take that power back that's when you awaken to the fact that you are your own magician. You are the conscious creator of your reality or the co-creator with the universe. You know, magician energy is about understanding that you have all the tools you need, each of the tarot suits are represented here, to create your reality. And through that realization, you can unlock your infinite potential. There's the saying with the magician, as above, so below. For me, this means that um, your whatever is going on internally with you, with your emotional state, will be represented in your external reality. So by shifting that, by getting back into power, by getting back into your you know sense of emotional um, stability, emotional intelligence, then you start to attract the situations, people, and experiences to you that are a vibrational match to to that. That's the magician energy, and that's how you can create. A truly beautiful abundant and aligned life that is going to give you greater balance I mean maybe in the past in this situation here some of you might be have been more like these beggars of life here where they were reliant on somebody else to feed them somebody else to validate them somebody else to make them feel secure but it's about you doing all of that for yourself, Capricorn, because we can't rely on others to do that. I feel like you are moving into young emperor mode where you're in control. You have your own stability and grounding, your own financial resources, your own home, your own material items. You don't need help from anyone else. And that is what is going to lead to a greater sense of balance for you, Capricorn. So we're really moving this week from a place where the past or other people have control over us to a place where we're self-actualized. We are in control of our emotions. We are our own magic man or woman. And from there, we can create the beautiful reality we desire. 
going to leave it there Capricorn I hope you enjoyed the reading do keep in mind it is a general reading so it won't be for every Capricorn out there feel free to leave me a comment if you would like to share how it's unfolding for you in your daily life and I'll see you back here next week for another reading